Breaking news this midday, some Texas bars forced to shut down at noon today. Governor Greg Abbott rolling back some reopening rules. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sonia Azad. The governor taking new action as Texas hits a record number of COVID-19 cases again. The order just coming in from his office late this morning. Let's get right over to Hannah Davis, who's got all the details for us. Hannah. Yeah, uh, good morning, Sonia. So we're going to go over that new order, but we're also talking about the reaction that we're seeing from the restaurant and bar industry. Right now, we're reporting from Bishop Bar. It's really the backbone of the economy of this neighborhood is bars like Whitehall Exchange right here and also restaurants that will be reacting. Now, I want to get right to the governor's order and what's changing starting as soon as noon today. He's closing bars. That means businesses whose sales are more than 51% alcohol. That starts at noon today, less than an hour from now. Uh, they will be allowed to offer to go and delivery service. He's also relimiting the dining capacity of restaurants. That's back to 50% from 75%. That starts Monday. Rafting and tubing businesses, things that we see down in the Hill Country, a lot of, they have to close starting today. And outdoor gatherings of more than 100 people must be approved by local authorities. You know, this just came down in about the last hour. So not a lot of people are out here right now this afternoon, but business owners are really starting to react to it, having to recalibrate. I talked to a few on the phone. They're trying to figure out exactly what the rules are and what it means for them, their safety and their business going forward, Sonia. So a lot to figure out. So Hannah, you've already uh, spoken with or sort of were like a fly on the wall while the Texas Restaurant Association was weighing in on this, right? Yeah, uh, Sonia, that was really interesting. They did a Zoom call as soon as this came out, and these were some of the leaders of the Testric Texas Restaurant Association uh, across the state. And their initial reaction really to this is they said they support it. They think this was needed looking at the numbers going up. But one of the things that they were calling on from the governor was a bit more statewide leadership, setting protocols from the state so it's not businesses that have to enforce mask laws, for example. They were saying this is really difficult for employees to go up to customers and saying you have to put on a mask. They say that shouldn't be their job to be in law enforcement. Rather, they would prefer a more uniform um, rule across the state really coming from the government. Yeah, I mean, no doubt we all know that this has been a tough time for all businesses, particularly these mom and pop shops, these small businesses. So what are they saying? I mean, no doubt they're going to have to adapt. What does this new newest order mean for them? Uh, yeah, so Sonia, um, there's two sides to this. One is the health side of it, of course, but there's also the economy. Both these things are happening at once. When I listened to that Zoom call from the Texas Restaurant Association, they said if help doesn't come through, they expect 30 percent of bars and restaurants could be closing because of what's going on. They say they need more effort from the federal government and state government funding to help them get through this really difficult time. All right. Our Hannah Davis live from Bishop Arts this morning. Hannah, thank you. Uh, Governor Greg Abbott, meantime, is scheduled to speak with us live on television on WFAA at 6 o'clock tonight. We're going to be asking him about these new restrictions and what could come next. If you have questions for the governor, you can tweet us at WFAA.